BC school districts are being asked to cough up $3 million to cover the cost of property insurance. It's an extra expense that the districts are going to have to find the money to cover. The price tag on Vancouver Island is nearly half a million dollars, and trustees are upset that they were not told sooner, but the education minister is hinting that there's a fix coming soon. Our legislature reporter Shachi Curl joins us now with more on the story. Shachi. Hudson, the district budgets have been submitted already. Every penny's been accounted for. And now those trustees are going to have to go back and find a little more cash. Like your car, your home, your business. Schools need to be insured against accidents and damage. But who pays the premium? In the past, the province has paid what's known as the self-insured property loss program. But this year, they've told school districts to cut the checks. This is going to take $3 million out of classrooms. That's across the province. On Vancouver Island, the bill totals $472,000, with the Greater Victoria School District having to pay nearly $126,000 for its share. The insurance cost to the Nanaimo Ladysmith District, $76,000. Souk, nearly $45,000. And the Saanich School District, $36,000 more. We will solve the problem. How we'll do it, I don't know at this point. But Education Minister George Abbott says the amount doesn't even add up to 1% of the district's overall budgets. It's a minor uh, issue in terms of the dollars. But that did not stop the opposition New Democrats from launching an attack in question period, pointing out that at the same time the Clark government is demanding $3 million from districts, it's spending big money on an HST information campaign of its own. My question is to the Minister of Education. Wouldn't the $7 million the government is spending on HST propaganda be better spent ensuring districts don't have to make any more cuts to classrooms? But Abbott countered with a carrot, hinting that education funding the province has been holding back will be released this week, helping ease the cash crunch. If a change of $3 million, Mr. Speaker, is, uh, is alarming, think of the ecstasy that will be produced by 7 or $8 million later in the week. Thanks, say trustees, but they point out this is as much about cash as it is about communication. What might come out of this would be let's agree to a 10-month agreement so the next time this comes up we get it before the budget comes. The province to school districts, consider yourself warned because this is going to be a permanent cost going forward. Now, one point, Hudson, on those information ads, on the issue of those HST information ads. Now, the Clark government will tell you it spent just $5 million. You heard in our report to the NDP quoting $7 million, but that is because the opposition is counting in other costs, such as the telephone town halls, forums, and uh, about $500,000 in spending money for the yes and no sides in the HST campaign. Of course, the trustees making their point that none of this should be spent at a time when they're being asked to dig deep again to pay for school costs. That's All right, Shachi Kerr reporting. Shachi, thank you. You're welcome.